Hello everyone, I'm Emily. Today I will read the story called Curious George and the Ice Cream Surprise. Next page. George was a little good little monkey and always very curious. One hot afternoon he heard Jingle, 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 jingle. What could that music be? George was curious about the melody he heard coming in through the window. Let's get ice cream job, George, said the man with the yellow hat. You know, sometime. Is here when you start hearing the music of the ice cream truck. Chuck. George loves chucks and he loves ice cream. Ice cream would taste so good on a hot day like today. We can build this wonderful ice cream truck right away. He started to climb out the window, but. His friend stopped him. George had you had to finish his lunch first. By the time George rushed out the door, the music was gone. Don't worry, George. The man, the ice cream truck makes a trip around town each day. All summer long. Well, we'll catch the ice cream truck tomorrow. The next day it got hotter and hotter. George waited for the ice cream shop, but there was no sign or sound of it. Let's go to the pool, George said the man with the yellow hat. George ran, ran to get his towel. Splashed around in the pool should be a great way to beat and hurt. But the pool was closed for revolution. Look on the bright side, George. By autumn, we'll have a long, larger pool with three diving boards. Don't won't let be fun. It does sound fun, but George needed to cool off now. In the autumn, George went back to waiting for the ice cream truck. He dreamed of Valium chocolate strawberry ice cream bars. George thought he heard the music of the ice cream truck, but it was just a little boy, Hermione. George and his neighbor decided to go to the park to run through the sprinklers. But just as they arrived, the sprinklers were turned off. It was a long walk back home. Luckily for George, there was Lemonade waiting for him. To On the porch, George took a drink and made a face. It was warm. Sorry, George, the man with the yellow hat said, "Our free reason has decided to stop walking. All our ice cream cup has melted. Now would be the perfect time to hear the sweet sound of the ice cream. Wait." Was that it? Yes, there was the ice cream. There was Chuck turning the corner now. Wave it down, George. I'll be right back with my wallet. The man rushed back into home, but the ice cream shop drive could not see the little monkey on the curb. The truck just was not driving very quickly, but he was driving away. George looked back at his house. 
He looked at the chalk. Then he had an idea. George climbed a tree and swung from the branch and to branch until he swung right into the roof of the chuck. He rolled the chuck into the town. The chuck stopped beside the town park. A window on the side opened up, and a small child and her mother stopped to buy ice cream. George could not believe his eyes. The little girl had ordered a frozen treat that took exactly like the chocolate-covered banana. George danced happily. He knew exactly what to order. The little girl saw him and laughed. So many people want ice cream that the driver ran out of change. He hurried over to the near bank to get more. Meanwhile, George noticed the ice cream line was getting very long. Everyone looked hot. There was no shade to stand in. Maybe he could help. George jumped down into the truck, where it was dark and cool. He grabbed an ad- many ice cream bars, cones, and ice pop as he could. He could. He handed them out to waiting, waiting children, their parents, and even their pets. George. Worked so quickly, he didn't remember to collect money for the ice cream. No one seemed to mind escape the ice cream man. What have you done? He he cried with his return. Half my ice cream was gone. George climbed up a telephone pole. George was very glad to see his friend hurry to the park. Hold on a minute," said the voice below. "Look at how everyone is enjoying themselves. It's been the hottest summer in town history. An ice cream skull, skull is is exactly." What we need. It was the m- mayor, and she offered to play with everyone's ice cream. Thank you, George, for your great idea. I think the town should sponsor an ice cream party every summer. The ice cream shop drive was happily to give serving ice cream. George and the man with the yellow hat help. The ice cream man saved one last treat for George: a chocolate-covered banana, pickles, delicious. The end.